Welcome back guys to Study Money and in today's series we'll talk about the emergency fund and this is part two. If you have not seen part one, you can just check it out in the comments and the details down below. And um, so we'll continue and we'll pick up where we left off on part one. So if you would like to know more about an in-depth conversation about the emergency fund, stay tuned and watch this video. Welcome back guys to Study Money. And in this series, we're talking about the emergency fund. So if you haven't seen part one, the link is down below in the details section. And so if you're new to this channel, okay, kung bago ka pa lang, and you would like to know more about mastering your finances and helping you reach financial freedom, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so that you'll always be notified about the topics that we talk about here. And so let's move on, okay, to the topic of the emergency fund. So I suggest that you watch the first video first and um, so that you can understand where we are headed in the succeeding videos. In part two, we will talk about how to build your emergency fund. There is a process, but it's also a simple process. But I'll also talk about you know, how things work out in a person's mind when they start to build the emergency fund, all right? So, first of all, um, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang, wala ka pang emergency fund, you must already know how to budget, okay? So, you must understand how to budget. So, syempre, kumikita ka na, sumisweldo ka na, all right? then kailangan mo ding malaman how to properly allocate your income, how to properly allocate funds for varying types of expenses and how to actually, you know, do the budgeting. I have a video about the uh, envelope budgeting system and the links up top, so check it out. And also, I have a video about budgeting so the link's also down in the details section, so try to check it out, all right? So basically, budgeting is the allocation of funds. Kapag sumweldo ka, alam mo din dapat kung ano yung mga paglalaanan nung pera mo. Yung bagay na pinagpawisan mo, pinagpaguran mo, at most of the time, okay, mga bagay na pinagstressan mo, okay? So, hindi lahat ng trabaho, masaya lang. It's not always rainbows and butterflies and unicorns, alright? But, more often than not, there's stress involved. So, why am I saying that, okay? Kasi, syempre, pinaghirap mo yung pera mo, di ba? Dapat, marunong ka rin to preserve the money that's coming into you, hindi lang waldas ng waldas. So, let's, so let's talk about understanding the process of allocation of funds. So, as a general rule of thumb, okay, when there's an income, there's always an expense. Pero hindi naman dapat pagpasok ng income mo, ubos ka din ng ubos, kaltas ka din ng kaltas to the expense section. Okay, what you want to do is once you have your income, alright, and if you're a Christian like me, then, you know, you do your tithes first and then pay yourself next. I'll repeat, pagpasok ng income mo, Pay yourself next okay then after that that is the time that you allocate for your expenses so bakit tinatanong mo no so paano yan expenses ko eh ganito yung expected ko expense sa kuryente sa rent sa gas and all that stuff okay I want you to understand expenses can be minimized kung araw-araw ka nagsa Starbucks pakiusap okay bawas bawasan mo Alam mo, if you think about it, mababawasan din yung pagiging risk, oh, mababawasan din yung risk mo towards unhealthy living if you minimize or cut down on that portion. Alright? But that's just a side topic. Okay, let's not focus on that. The meat of it all is pwede mong mabawasan yung pinagkakagasusan mo. 
kung feeling mo ang mahal na binabayaran mo sa kuryente, okay, start unplugging. Alright? Bawas-bawasan mo yung panunod ng TV. Magnegosyo ka, mag-search ka about how to start a business and all that good stuff. But again, that's a different topic. And so, what I'm trying to say is you can minimize your expenses. Kung kain ka ng kain sa labas, okay, then simulan mo magbaon. Alright? Cook food at home and also deliberately bring food at work. You don't necessarily have to eat out. I think that it's one of the biggest expenses that a person has, especially those who are working in an office, okay? So, alam mo yung bili dito, bili dyan. Um, pwede ka magbaon, alright? You will come to realize that kapag nagbabaon ka, um, malaking bagay yung makakaltas sa ginagastos mo when you're eating out, okay? So, once again, you can control the amount of money that you spend or that you allocate for various types of expenses. Those expenses will never go away. Laging meron yan, but you can control the amount that you're spending on various types of expenses, all right? So, next is you need to prioritize saving up, okay? Like what I said, pay yourself next. Always keep the end goal in mind. Ano nga ba tong pinag-iipunan ko? Para saan nga ba tong bagay na tinatabi ko kada sweldo? Okay, para saan ba tong pera na isinasantabi ko? Alright, always have a clear picture of the goal. First objective is to have 30,000 pesos saved up right away. Okay, pagpasok ng 13th month mo, kunin mo na agad yun. Alright, get a big piece of it and put it there. Let's say may 25,000 ka makukuha doon, kunin mo na yun, ilagay mo na yun sa banko, 5,000 na lang ang kailangan. So that you'd be able to reach the first objective. You should be able to hit the 30,000 as fast as you can. Alright, now once you have that 30,000 pesos in place, keep the end goal in mind. What you need to have is six, six months rather, to one year of living expenses. So, kailangan mong itali lahat ng pinagkakagasusan mo buwan buwan. Alright? And you have to add it all up. Six months, magkano ba yung total expenses ko for me to be able to survive? Alright? One year, magkano ba yung suma total ng mga bagay na pinagkakagasusan ko? In order for me to survive, pretending that you don't have the job anymore that you have. Alright? You know, play that scenario in your head. I challenge you. Okay? Pretend na mawawalan ka na ng trabaho bukas. Magkano yung amount na kailangan mo para mabuhay decently from for six months to one year? Alright? So, I want you to seriously think about it. Play that scenario in your head. I challenge you. Isipin mo siyang mabuti. And maybe you will come up with various scenarios all right, or different ideas, but one thing's for sure, be prepared for the unexpected, all right? And um, next that I wanna talk about is how much time does it actually take for you to be able to save up yung six months to one year's worth of living expenses, all right? So I wanna share with you my story. Okay, so nung nagsisimula pa lang kami ng wife ko, we were building it, slowly building it, okay? Hindi pa ganun kalaki yung income then. Um, I was a um, struggling entrepreneur back then. My wife was working in a very good company. And so, we were pooling our funds, okay? Kinocompute namin kung magkano yung sinesweldo niya at magkano lang yung sinesweldo ko. pinag ad namin and, you know, we talk about it deliberately, chinecheck namin kung magkano yung ginagasos namin sa kuryente, tubig, rent, and all the other stuff. Okay? Food, groceries, etc. Okay? So, tinatali namin yun, and then, we started prioritizing yung saving up for the emergency fund. Okay? And so, little by little, we built it. Okay? Most of the time, yung six months to one year na yan, um, it can be long, alright? Just 
take my word for it. Hindi siya mangyayari overnight, obviously. Unless siguro manalo ka sa lotto, but I discourage you from doing that, okay? So, anyway, um, it can take years to build that emergency fund. The six months to one year's worth of living expenses. But again, keep the end goal in mind, alright? Palagi mong alalahanin kung bakit ka nag-iipon para sa niyang pinag-iipunan mo. And so in the next video, we'll talk about how to grow your emergency fund. Okay, ang dami mga haters dyan, ang dami mga doubters dyan sa topic na tong emergency fund na to. They're saying, ah, paano yung inflation? Ah, nagmamahalan yung mga bilhin? Paano na yun? Paano na yan? And that's what the next video is for. How to grow your emergency fund. And so, if you like this video, okay, hit the like button down below. And if you have any comments, questions, recommendations, and suggestions, write them down in the comment section. And then, andyan din yung mga details and links in the details, uh, details portion of the video, right? Just right down there. Yeah, Jan sa baba. Nakita mo na? Okay na? Okay, so if you've seen that, makita mo rin if you scroll up. It's okay. Scroll up ka. Yeah. Kita mo yung subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and on the right side makita mo yung bell. Okay? Hit that bell button so that you'll be notified for all of other upcoming videos. What we aim to do is help you reach financial freedom in a very simple, easy, methodical way. So Kung may kakilala ka din na tingin mo kailangan marinig to, alright, feel free to share this video. And so guys, stay tuned for our next video and I'll see you there.